In the city of Oviedo, we have lovely streets and old neighborhoods, and you'll find a variety, a lot of cool buildings that really catch your eye. This video is about all the great historic homes we have here in the city of Oviedo. I'm top Orlando realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town & Country, Orlando's number one real estate company. And I've lived here in East Orlando since I've been a little boy. I went to Winter Park High School. I went to UCF right down the road. And I've been listing and selling real estate here every day full time for 35 years in the city of Oviedo. Today, we're focusing on famous historic homes around our own city here in Oviedo, Florida. First, the Wheeler Evans House is a real neighborhood standout in architecture. It's a fancy home listed on the National Register of Historic Places, showing off Oviedo's awesome architectural history. So back when electricity wasn't everywhere, this place was super smart and used Delco batteries for power. They even had solar panels for hot water way ahead of their time in thinking green. In the early 1950s, the Wheeler Evans House got even cooler by being the first house in Oviedo with air conditioning, which is a big deal for the city's progress. So Oviedo's history isn't just about cool buildings, it's also about the people who made things happen. Benjamin Franklin Wheeler Sr. was one of those folks, and he made a big impact on the city, especially in the citrus business, which we were known for. He showed up in 1889 and got right to work. Buying a citrus grove was just the start of his amazing journey. With the hard work and smart thinking that he had, he turned the Nelson and Company into a big deal in the citrus world. He wasn't afraid to try new things, like using machines to prune trees and growing new kinds of citrus. Wheeler's story is all mixed up with Oviedo's growth, and thanks to him and his home, the business scene really took off. The Wheeler Evans House is a real standout in Oviedo's neighborhood. It's got that classic revival style that really makes it pop. The front of the house is super symmetrical with these cute little gable dormers on the top, big brick chimneys, and fancy eave details. Check out the front porch. It's got these cool Doric columns and leaded glass that give it a really grand feel. Inside, it's just as impressive. You've got dark oak floors, French doors and fancy glass handles, and real detailed moldings. The living room and the library are something else with these amazing fireplaces and built-in bookcases. Upstairs, there's five rooms and two bathrooms with old-fashioned sinks and arched openings for showers and tubs. And the furniture? It's from Tar Furniture Company, and it's so elegant with the oriental carpets and the fancy Adamesque style pieces that really fit into the 1900s vibe. Benjamin Franklin Wheeler Sr. played a huge role in making the Oviedo citrus business a big deal, while the Wheeler Evans house is like a, a fancy time capsule showing off the town's history. Wheeler Citrus also put Oviedo on the map for farming. The house was built or wrapped up in 1928 and still looks super classy with its old-timey style. Together, Wheeler Citrus gig and the house tell the story of how Oviedo evolved over the years. They're both big parts of Oviedo's past here. So shifting gears to the Brown Team House unveils another important chapter in Oviedo's history. This place has been standing tall since the 1800s, witnessing tons of big moments from the town's history. From Oviedo's move from Orange County to Seminole County to other major events, this house has been a silent witness to it all. It's been through some tough times too, like the yellow fever outbreak, and it's seen folks like George H. Brown's rise in politics. Brown's coming and going, along with J.H. King looking after the house, tell stories not just about individuals, but about the whole community. When you put the Brown King house next to the Wheeler Citrus work, you really get a clear picture of Oviedo's past showing off its spirit and its resilience. Now, the Brown King House is a prime example of 19th century architecture. That's the 1800s. It was put together using a style called frame vernacular construction, which means they stuck to local customs and materials. These homes usually had a T-shape with two stories and chimneys on the side. They also had porches for some shade and kitchens in a separate building to keep the main house cool. And also, in case there was a fire in the kitchen, the house didn't burn down. They prop the houses up on bricks or tree stumps to let some air circulate underneath. And this style became a hit thanks to changes in how things were built and the info spreading through magazines and trains. The Whitney Walcott House, put together in the late 1800s, is a real showstopper when it comes to Victorian revival architecture. 
throughout its story, it's been involved in lots of community projects, and it's had some pretty cool people living there, like the writer Wyatt Wyatt, which adds some extra cultural and literary oomph to the tale. This house sticks to its original style known as F House Vernacular Construction, straight from the 1800s. It's lifted up on solid supports and has tall windows to let the air flow through. Built with local heart of pine and local cypress wood, it's tough against termites and the weather for sure. Step inside and you'll find a fancy hallway with a stunning staircase and fireplaces showing off top-notch skills of those builders back then. The porch posts are all fancy and the windows have a lot of little details adding even more charm to this historical gem. So that's about it for a tour of some of the most prominent Oviedo houses that we have here in town. There's lots more to see, so if you're interested, stay tuned and we'll give you some more. If you want to move to East Orlando, why not call Realtors Scott Garrison and Diana Zacoto, the experienced Realtors you already know. Obviously, we are committed to and know the area and with over 35 years of experience selling properties right here, we might be the obvious choice. Stay tuned to find more about East Orlando's current events and past history right here. Bye for now.